Welcome to the show that takes up no more than five minutes of your time, but could help you gain massive real estate knowledge. It's Five Minutes in Real Estate with best selling author Shane Willis. Hello, it's Shane Willis, the Pensacola Real Estate Expert. Finally, bringing you the next episode of Five Minutes in Real Estate. It's been like three, four weeks. Um, we have about a month ago, earlier this month, we got hacked. And if you listened to a few episodes back, I thought we had fixed it. So we wound up um, getting unhacked there for a minute. And what I did not realize is that me putting new content on the website, i.e. the new podcast, um, and I also updated one of the rental apps, and the, you know we work on the site constantly. But getting all that updated actually triggered a deeper part of the hack, and it shut us down for weeks. I have spent more time than I want to uh, talking with computer programmers and security agents, and I got some friends of mine that are actually in the security business, um, and they started to explain to me, "Hey, this is what's going on." This is what's happening. This is this is what they're going after. This is what they're fishing for. Um, for those of you who listen and are subscribed, that is off our site. The subscription service that we use is actually off the site, so none of that data was breached. But um, our site has been down. It's been down for a few weeks, so I have missed putting together these little podcasts uh, as I go for my walk in the morning or in the afternoon or evening wherever until now we actually got unhacked uh, got everything cleaned up cleaned off earlier this week but learning lessons once and not wanting to repeat the same mistakes i actually went out and created some sample podcast episodes put those on did not put those in itunes or google play or any of those things uh, because i wanted to make sure that uh, this was true that we really were unhacked it was all cleaned off but um there was a couple of guys uh, and a couple of different companies now that I kind of pay for my security. So I pay for some ninjas to help me keep unhacked. Um, so we get back to doing what we do, which is real estate, bringing some value to content to you guys. So anyways, that's where we've been. We've been fighting off the ninja attack that we received from the hackers. Um, it turned out to be nothing. They really were just bored, I guess. And we hit their radar. So, all that being said, let's talk about some real estate. Something came across. It is Friday. It's Friday, March 30th, as I'm recording this. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you who have followed the show, you know that Friday is Infographic Friday. So, I come up with a neat infographic. There was some data from a report that I received that kind of made sense and made me scratch my my head a little bit as far as well okay why would anybody even consider renting over buying when you look at this data but I also know that it's not just this hard fast financial law it's also you know there's other aspects and there are reasons why you should rent but I wanted to share this information with you it's just financial information based on historic percentages and where we are and where we sit right now all right so historically The percentage of income needed to afford the median rent in the country. So your average rent, the percentage of your income in order to afford that is 25.8%. That was historically. Rents have continued to rise. I know this as a landlord. I've had two of my properties that the leases were not renewed. The people, you know, both of them were military couples. It was time for them to move on. It was fantastic uh, working with both of them because both of them have been there for three years and it was it was great but we wound up when we got the new lease we wound up going up about 10 percent on the rent and i still had absolutely no trouble renting the place so rents are going up so now instead of 25.8 percent which is the historic number it's 28.9 percent means you're creeping up on 30 percent of your income just to afford to rent every hundred dollars you make you're paying your landlord 30 bucks every thousand you're paying 300 that gets depressing sometimes now historically what does it take to buy a house what does it take to cover that mortgage cost 
Historically, that's been 21%. But with the rates the way they are right now, it's 15.7%. So if we look at just that aspect, again, there are other aspects that we should discuss, whether you should rent or buy. But if we look at just that aspect, 28.9% of your income to rent versus 15.7% of your income to buy. Uh, that seems like a no-brainer. <clears throat> I'm letting some of that compute for some of you guys. Because some of y'all are like, wait, but, and I know there's going to be some questions. Well, what about maintenance? Okay, let's add another 10% for maintenance. Still 25.7 versus 28.9. So even if you put 10% of your monthly income aside for maintenance, yeah, that's there. And I don't think you need 10% of your monthly income aside for that. If so, then we needed to talk about the house to begin with. Anyways, based on that analogy alone, that aspect, well, this is kind of a no-brainer. Buying is, is the way to go. And the way we're looking at it right now here, kicking into April, uh, most of the price points, still a little bit of a seller's market. Uh, we have seen the inventory come up some because of, well, it's the spring buying season. We got Easter weekend this weekend, and I've got quite a few appointments already lined up for tomorrow. Uh, and I know that almost every one of my listings has multiple showings scheduled uh, for this weekend. So it's still busy. It's still, still very, very busy. All right. Well, I'm back now. That's all I got for you today. As always, if you have not subscribed to get our tips, tricks, infographics, I got the nice little infographics every Friday. And your email address, get over to 5minutesinrealestate.com. That's 5minutesinrealestate.com. Also, if you have not subscribed to iTunes or Google Play to our podcast, so you get notified when we do give new ones out, which we're going to hopefully get back on schedule now. Get over on both of those, whatever your player of choice is. Hit subscribe and would love to get a thumbs up. And finally, if you found value in this or any other episode since we're back, go back and listen to some other episodes. If you found any value in any of them, I ask that you share it on social media. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend.